Like, uh, like, famously, he blocked over 17,000 people without the use of block list. He individually blocked 17, over 17,000 people. Yeah, like, one of his rules was like, do not tweet to me in English, and I'm like, okay. Tweet in English! Hold on a second, guys. Guys, chat. So the milk that has been sitting in the room waiting to be poured is now probably a room temperature. No! You're gonna have to drink it! That's if anybody donates. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that. I can hear Key in the background. Just five dollars. And there's no tax involved because we're not Taco Bell. Yeah, is... I love those uh, those pre-roll ads of Taco Bell that oh, there's the cool tulip bulb box for like five dollars, only to find out it's like nine dollars because of tax. What kind and... of tax is that? Four dollars tax? Uh, welcome, welcome to California. Wild. Yeah. Oh, I live in New York. I'm sorry. What it is. <laughs> in, in New York City. In, in Pennsylvania, the box is only five dollars thirty cents because the tax in PA is thirty cents. Remember in how in, in Texas, I think it's like six or seven dollars. It's not too. Ah, you dumb motherfuckers get get sent tacked. Pennsylvania. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, I live in New Hampshire. We have no tax. Fuck you, Riley. <laughs> Ow. In Louisiana, I think it's 5.30 or something like that. It's like 5.25, 5.30. It's pretty Jesus. good. Oh. Uh, I thought you said, like, in tax. I was fixed to say, Jesus no. Christ. No. God, no. God, no. Like, ordering anything into Louisiana and New Orleans is fucking fun. awful. Like, that, so... The fucking taxes really have been fucking hyping up, though, because I've noticed when I go to fill up my car, like, it used to be, like, 20 bucks I could fill up from empty. And I'd still have like two or three bucks left over. Now it's getting to like twenty-five on the last quarter of a tank to fill it up, and I'm like, mm, I'm really yeah. not liking how goddamn expensive it is for me to actually move and you know the last do shit that I'm required to. Mm. Like here's here's like fucking I love where I go to college, but like fuck sometimes Louisiana state tax. It's like if you order a game or something. It's like 60 bucks. So I ordered two different games from Limited Run. One of them was like, both of them are the same price. And with shipping, one was 65 bucks and the other was like 74. Like just because of the difference of tack. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what the tax Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do you know what the tax is on, on most weed in the US from dispensaries? No, because it's not legal where I'm at. Twenty percent. Jeez. Twenty percent tax. Seventy dollars so. is the price of modern games now. How does that make you feel? Uh, pissed uh, off. Fucking, That's what it does. Off. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's seventy goddamn dollars, and we're getting forty dollars worth of games. So. Oh, and they're, <laughs> and they're probably not gonna put. I, uh, they're not probably not going in, to include as much microtransactions and loot boxes That's then, right? Happen, right? <laughs> right? 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 Funny joke. Funny yeah. Yeah. Only, the only Funny good next-gen game that's out right now is the new Ratchet and Clank game. I want to play that, but I don't have a PS5. Yeah, yeah the only real cool. thing that people have been complaining about is like there's not very much enemy variety, but like story and the combat itself and all that shit is like really good. It's a like, Ratchet yeah. and Clank game. You're in for a good time. You guys yeah, want to yeah. hear a a, a a a little a little tidbit from 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 a book of wisdom? What? Yeah, sure. Games that are released digitally should be cheaper because there's no manufacturing cost. Yeah. 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 Also, there's no reason to fucking pre-order games anymore because they're not going to run out of digital copies. Exactly! Yeah, I okay, I guess I can be ashamed right now because I did pre-order... I, I did make my first pre-order for a game. I pre-ordered the physical edition of Doki Doki Literature Club. Your bloodline is what you can deserve to perish with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> eh, I wanted it physically and it's like, they're kind of rare so I was like, I'll just pre-order it you know how like, much I'll... are they charging for the free game by the way like, so yeah, no, how much is the the special pre DDLC, physical edition ddlc plus is 15 bucks on its own and then the physical edition is uh 15 more bucks like so, so, so 30, 30. Bucks total it's, it's not it's that's 30 not bucks horrendous yeah no, I that's not terrible. A $30 game so i'm not and it's like 
basically the oh, collector's fuck. edition of it or some shit. So I'm like, okay, cool. I got a I get collector's it edition for the Metroid Prime trilogy because it's three goddamn games on one disc. And it comes think... in a cool metal case. Do you think they could put Metroid Prime on VR? They should put it on the fucking Switch is where they should put it. Yeah. Like, goddamn, <laughs> give us the fucking trilogy on Switch already so yeah. we have something to fucking play in the meantime. God damn it. You know that Metroid has a really big fan base or at the very least have some of the most dedicated fans. Give us fucking something. And yes, I know the... Metroid Dread is coming out. It's not here yet. <laughs> yeah. Considering so the $80 collector's else. edition of Metroid Dread sold out in like three seconds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Metroid fans like, are crazy. Give us because we don't fucking get anything. We have to wait <laughs> goddamn 15 years for the next fucking update for our series. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Punch out fans. Oof. <laughs> yeah, what was the last punch out game they got? Was the one for the Wii? Yeah. 2009. 2009, and then before so that, 1992, then 1992, and then 1985. <laughs> weren't the weren't the characters in Punch Out like extremely racist or oh, stereotypical yes. or? Oh or, yeah. But like, me. I just, want, I just want a Punch Out game. Oh no, you want to know? You want to know suffering? You want to know suffering? Solar. Fucking Ace Attorney fans, man. Ace Attorney fans just realizing that Ace Attorney's never going to get picked up again. Yeah. We just got. We're getting. We're getting great Ace Attorney. So maybe, please, please be good. Please. Me. Please. Me please sitting well. here waiting for Atlas to finally man the fuck up and stop hating money and put the Persona and Shin Megami Tensei games on PC. <laughs> Me. Well, they did for PS. They did Persona Four. Yes, yeah, after you... after locking it on the Vita for since from 2013 until 2020. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking years. Listen, really, the, the, the I mean, game they chose to die on was the Vita. Really? Yes. Hey. Yes. And the, you know what the worst part was? Persona 4 Golden was the complete version of the game. So if you wanted to play the definitive Persona 4 experience, you had two choices: play the original on the PS2 or play the new one on the Vita. And you had to go out and buy a fucking Vita just to play <laughs> your damn game. Dude, <laughs> so they... nothing until last year. We're currently. No. Go ahead. Ace Attorney fans, man. I just want Call of Justice Remastered anytime ah. soon. And it's never gonna happen, because all they want to fucking do is re-release the trilogy. Apollo Justice is still stuck on the goddamn DS, and, it, like, cartridges now for it are, like, $70, $80. Like, they're getting close to $100 for a no, no, game. Look, yeah, is Apollo Justice what... the one with Sam Regal? Uh, no, Apollo Justice. That's the one before the 3DS games. No, no, no. You want a Capcom re-release? I want to see. I want to see a re-release of the Battle Network games. I love the Battle oh. Network games. Give us Mega mm. Man Star Force. Fuck. Yeah, Star. Star you know, the well, the problem with Star Force is that it was designed for the DS, and I'm not sure how they could like do that on the Switch. Like, also, fucking also, move. doing it on the Switch is entirely possible. Well, actually, doing it on the fucking Wii U was actually funny enough possible because you had the dual screen shit, so you could have the touch screen on the Wii. That's actually how I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on the big screen, by the way. Also, huh. the, lower, fucking... the, the the handheld screen was like the touch screen, <laughs> and then the upper screen was the actual gameplay. All right, the 3DS just... games, please fucking port them anywhere but the 3DS eShop. We never got fucking physical releases of either of them. It was All the right. aiming laser, Golden. Yeah, I got it. All right, guys. So, hear me out. <coughs> All right. Dino Crisis and Parasite Eve. I know mm -hmm. what you Get off me! <laughs> As somebody who loves both of those games, I've been waiting for a new game in the series because... <laughs> Oh. Capcom like zombies, but they made dinosaur game where you fight dinosaurs, basically zombies, but harder. Look, they make old game Resident Evil 2 remake and put it on modern console. So me thinks with dumb caveman braid after beating other caveman for banana, hey, maybe they're gonna take Dino Crisis and put game on modern consoles. No, they proceed to shove fist up ass and say, play Resident Evil 3. <laughs> yeah. Bro, hey, you wanna know something funny? 
Mm, Why do you want to know something funny? They're mm. totally gonna remake RE4 before they do yep. anything with Dino Crisis. Oh yeah, and you know, yeah. Yeah. seventh <laughs> time. Resident Evil 4. RE4 remakes have okay. How many RE4 remakes hey, or re-releases have only there for GameCube? I, I'm only pretty for sure GameCube. it's only Wii. rivaled by Skyrim. Because I remember okay, so. there was a Wii version. I remember there was a GameCube version. Was it okay. PS2 Solar. version? So yeah, let me do this. PlayStation 2. Let me do Golden this. Okay, Stalky, so. guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, you were gonna say golden? Oh uh, no! Earlier, when you guys were talking about Mega Man, um, I wanted to mention something. Like, am I the only one who wanted to see Mega Man X actually like redone on the Game Boy Advance? No, no actually. I mean, Advance? there was the Zero series. Yeah, there was the Zero series. I barely ever heard of the Zero series. I, I, I don't know. The, the thought to me of remaking a game and then intentionally putting it on dated hardware just kind of doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Because really, how how well can you actually remake the game if you're using hardware from that long ago? Well, yeah. didn't they make, well they yeah. did make some like quality of life improvements to those games. Well, before Skyward Sword, where they put it behind a fucking me. Or me, I'm not me, uh, um... Fuck, what are those things called again? Ah, Amiibo. Amiibo, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A thought just occurred to me. I forgot all the rest of the weapon of, uh, armor upgrades. Ooh. Yeah, you did. I was like, huh, you're looking a little looking a little plain there. Alright, so. This is Resident Evil 4. Originally came out only for GameCube. PlayStation 2. Microsoft Windows. Wii. iOS. Zebo. PlayStation Came out 3. On the fucking phone? What yeah. the fuck is a Zebo? A bad yeah, console. Really? PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Android, PlayStation 4, Ow. Xbox One, Nintendo oh, Switch, Oculus Quest. You. It is come out fucking Oculus Quest? Yeah, it has come out for 13 platforms, and I think yes. there's gonna be and there might be start to get released and on another one. <laughs> They are currently working on the Oculus Quest uh, port, which actually is going to be like the normal game, just in VR. But the remake. So here's a as a as a Resident Evil staunch stan who has been playing, who has played literally every game in the Resident Evil series. I mean, every single fucking one of them. Even they six and, ah, even five okay, and six. Yes. Give me a second. 